Hey everybody, just wanted to uh, apologize for not pumping out some vids lately. Uh, my new day job has been uh, pretty taxing, so I've had a ton of obligations that I need to get uh, completed and finished. It's one of the drawbacks of being the boss instead of uh, one of the employees. So... But before we get started real quick, I got two shout outs to say real fast. The first one is to my nephew. Uh, he just went down to Paris Island on the 6th of July, had a great send off for him. So in uh, 13 weeks from now, if everything works out, he'll get his EGA and I will have a, a, a proud Marine in the family. So that is awesome. The second shout out <clears throat> is to a guy I've known for a long time. And like I said, I keep myself anonymous, but uh, I'll give him a shout out. He is a recent subscriber of mine. So, uh, Staff Sergeant Derek Cook, uh, thank you very much for checking out my vids. He was a great combat engineer and uh, ended his career in the, in the Chaplain Corps. So, awesome, Derek. Glad to have you with me. All right, and uh, let's go crack into this review. Uh, I figure we would revisit something that... Uh, Ted and Jonathan sent me from Canada. So we have an IMP. It is from uh, 2013, and this is menu 12, the salmon. So let's get into this thing. Okay, and I cannot find my my great juice S2, so I'll use this little thing. This is a little Leatherman Leatherman style. So uh like we said, it's just like a paper bag and it is foil lined. And right off the bat, maybe it's because, I don't know, usually these boxes in here are white in color. This is the first time that I have seen uh, a brown box. Uh, I'm quite sure that it's, it's probably good, but I like the way how they package these. You know, they put, they get the box on the outside, so it kind of protects the stuff on the inside. There's another guy on YouTube, Paul. I've, I've made a few uh, links on my Facebook uh, page, and I'll put his uh, link down there in the description box. He's kind of like the IMP guru on uh, YouTube. He's got some really, <laughs> really nice vids, so uh, be sure to check him out as well. Let's see what we've got in here. Have some uh, sliced peaches. Ah, some bread. I was kind of uh, bummed out I didn't get any bread in in the last IMP that I tried. But, uh, no. Okay. Oh. We have uh, some... Uh, tomato and basil rice so that will be tasty bear paws molasses I think these are like molasses kind of cookies lemon sports drink pack of uh, matches Used to be able to get matches all over the place, but all of a sudden they just stopped uh, having them like 7-Elevens and all that other kind of stuff. So I uh, have some peanut butter. Okay. Oh, I was like, what is that? I only saw the French. A tea bag. Some strawberry jam. So I guess you can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you were inclined to with the bread. And then we have a, a salmon filet nature. So hmm, that'll be interesting. Let's put the rest of this stuff down here. It's easier to, to plow through. Okay, zesty seafood uh, seasoning. Jeez, man. Can't talk right now. That'll be really good to go along with the rice and the salmon. Okay, the beverage bag. <laughs> this is 
<laughs> one of the best things that I like about this thing. This bag is, and I, I had a guy leave a comment on the last IMP uh, that I did. <laughs> this is superior, <laughs> so it was great. The ginormous uh, spoon. Some hot sauce, always a fan of that. Uh, lemon drink. So there's two lemon drinks. So I guess this is like a, uh, a coffee flavored Werther's candy. I've always been a fan of those. Uh, geez, all stuff's all falling down. Real a fan of those Polish uh, coffees. In fact, I just had to go ahead. It. Go ahead. There we go. I just had to purchase uh, some more because the other half kind of uh, finished them off. So hopefully uh, we will get those pretty soon. So we have some whitener for the tea or coffee and then some coffee. There's my phone again going. And uh, you have a, a napkin. This is kind of an interesting napkin. It's one giant sheet, so I guess you could use this to uh, prepare your food or to uh, give yourself a wipe or whatever you needed to do. Teriyaki sauce. So, huh, maybe that would go with a fish. All this kind of interesting stuff. Uh, wet nap, and to end out, you have the gum. And some people say that this is potentially dental gum or xylitol but it's all basically you know chiclet kind of gum that they had in the 40s okay so here we go this is uh all this good stuff let's start getting it fixed up and prepared and uh yeah let's plate okay before i start on the drinks the one thing i noticed that i didn't get that I got on the last one that I've seen is a toothpick and fortunately I happen to have one of these laying around so voila there you go okay I'm going to opt for the coffee and I'll make one of the lime drinks I'll leave the tea and the other one uh, for another time and this also calls for uh, hot water and it has to prepare for you have to let it stand for eight to ten minutes so we'll get this uh, one going too. Okay, we'll start off with this because it's going to take a little longer. And this is the tomato and basil rice. We have a little tear notch. It's got a nice tomatoey smell. Imagine that, seeing how it's tomato basil rice. It doesn't have a amount of water to pour. It just says pour to the fill line which is kind of hard to judge seeing how the fill line is on the outside of the bag. It's got a nice little kind of stand on the bottom and you just fold this over and you let it sit for eight to ten minutes. And these binder clips come in super handy for that to keep that heat in there. Okay, let's uh, make some coffee. All right, we'll make this one uh, leaded with uh, some cream this time. Haven't used that in a while. And we'll put some sugar in there as well. Okay, maybe it would be good and try not to pour it all in there like we usually end up doing. All right, still about half the pack in there. And then of course, our steaming water. And I learned from the Italian ration, you really have to pay attention to uh, if it's coffee, instant coffee, or espresso. So I do apologize to my Italian friends. I didn't realize that was uh, uh, an espresso and it was only supposed to have like an ounce and a half of water. So talk about diluting something. Okay, now on to uh, the drink. Okay, this calls for 250 ml of water. If we can open up the bag. Okay. 
and ordinarily I would have used this, but I, I want to save this one. The last one, uh, I couldn't get all the gunk out of it, so uh, hang on to that one. And we'll give this a stir. Okay, we got our tray out. I'm still letting that rice, tomato, basil rice, do its thing. So let's open up some of these uh, smaller packets. I believe these are, it says soft cookies, molasses soft cookies. They've got a pretty nice smell to them. So all right. And we have this little Werther's candy. And it's a coffee flavor. And that smells like a good coffee flavor as well. And then the bread. Yeah, I was really excited about this stuff uh, the last video. Just didn't get it. So, man. I've always been uh, curious about the texture of this stuff. It's it's not as dense as uh, MRE bread. And just to me, it, it just smells better than uh, MRE bread that you would ordinarily get. And like we said, along with the bread, we've got the peanut butter and jelly. So we'll set that right there and give that a, a try. We got some gum. Just like MRE gum, any kind of like chiclet gum, pretty much. And then we've got these sauces, which I don't know. We're going to use them because they're in here. We'll use them on something. I don't imagine tomato, basil, rice, and teriyaki will go, but hot sauce, in my opinion, goes with everything. So and then we've got this uh, seasoning mix. I guess we will use that with our fish. So, yeah. Okay, the sliced peaches. And I know some of this stuff is made by the Baxter Corporation, and some of it is made uh, from other sources. And I know the the actual entree. See here, we got Baxter's stuff, and this was produced in Canada. And some people would heat up their, their, uh, what are these? Jeez, I already forgot what they were. Peach slices, peach slices. Some of them would heat this up, but I'm going to uh, eat this cold because that's how I would prefer it. But if you did heat it up, it says boil in water for five minutes. And that's the same exact uh, as the fish. Let's not get peach juice everywhere, please. It doesn't want to open all the way. This almost almost made the blooper, the blooper vids. So we'll put the peaches right here. That's a good amount of peaches too. Good smelling stuff. And we'll look at our rice real quick to see how it's done. It's been about. I don't know, I got eight to ten minutes. Looks like it's reconstituted pretty well, so we'll just throw it on down and see that's good because it really really soaked up that water. So when you dump this out, you don't have all of that mess going along. And you still got a little bit down in the bottom, but like we said, this is like a it's a taste test. So we don't have to be perfect. The one thing that I really like about this salmon filet, if you look at the sodium content, most of these rations have so much sodium, but just, but just this one thing only has 5% of your daily recommended intake. So I really uh, like that. And that is the brand name, and it goes along exactly with our seasoning. And this thing is pretty pretty toasty so all right oh man that stuff just kind of went everywhere outstanding 
I was almost thinking this was like going to be a fillet instead of a a mashed thing, seeing how it said fillet. Well, maybe it was a fillet at one time, and it just, man, I don't know. I am pretty partial to seafood, so I, I really kind of like this smell. Man, that is, that has got a pleasant smell to it. Hmm. Yeah, probably once upon a time, this was uh, all one solid piece. But, man, that has got a, a pleasant smell. All right. Let's open up some of this, if I can find a little tear notch. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to divide this up a little bit. And I will have uh, a little bit just plain, a little bit with a seasoning, maybe a little bit with a teriyaki, a little bit with a hot sauce, just so I can uh, <clears throat> do a, a good comparison. So there's a little bit of that seasoning. It smells kind of like a like a Cajun seasoning. It's not like a blackened, like you get in a blackened fish, but it's got that that tang to it. So, all right, now a little teriyaki on there as well. Talk about uh, changing flavor profiles. Is this going to come out? Man, this is... Oh, okay, so it is a thick sauce. And granted, I don't know what you're supposed to use on what, but I learned a long time ago, if you don't try things... You'll never know, so it's better to use everything than nothing. And a little bit of the hot sauce, yeah, but it mm. that has got a zingy, zingy taste. All right, so let's just try this by itself. This is salmon with nada on it. I tell you, I like this. This is good stuff. Now let's try a little bit of it with uh, teriyaki sauce. Mm -hmm. Teriyaki is the way to go. That is, <laughs> that is pretty tasty. So far, number one. All right, let's try a little bit of the hot sauce. The only downfall about this. <laughs> is it's really messy, man. I'm getting all kinds of stuff everywhere, so if you're eating right out of your mess tin, this would probably be a lot more uh, uh, pleasant or eating right out of the bag. Mmm, that's good too. All right, now for phase... Phase four. That's the seasoning. Hands down, number one. Well, actually, these two. Just plain and with uh, teriyaki sauce is uh, spot on. That's really good. So, well, while this stuff is still pretty hot, I want to uh, try some of this rice. What is it? Tomato and basil rice. That's pretty good, too. I'm sure if you laid this down and you poured the salmon on top of it and it sopped up all of these juices too, that would be really good. In fact, let's just throw some of that over there <clears throat> and uh, see how that does as we progress. And everybody's probably had a sliced peach before in their life. So, yep. And this really goes good, it offsets. Uh, you get a little bit of coolness, a little bit of heat. So, and this is warm too. All right, now the bread. I've been waiting for uh, to try this for a long time. Hmm. Why can't we use this, Natick? Warnick Company, Sapaco Ameriqual. It's uh, it is it is slightly dense, 
I mean, it's more dense than you would get like out of a grocery store, but it's still soft. You can see all the little nooks and crannies in there. Forgive me, English muffin commercials people. I am uh, not trying to rip you off, but all right, let me split this open and we'll put some of this uh, peanut butter and jelly in there. All right. Now the key to this is try to get the, the smallest hole possible so you can use it to to squeeze and spread this stuff out. And we'll try to get most of it out of there. So it just kind of uses itself, its own pressure to get out of there. And now some jelly on the other side. And it's strawberry jam, so this will be nice and tasty. We'll just fold them up on each other. PB and J, out in the field, used to fight for these things. Pretty good. Mm. Okay, I also left a piece of bread over here, untainted by the PB and J, to uh, plop in there as well. Because who knows if you didn't like peanut butter or jelly, you might want to have a a salmon sandwich. So try one of these molasses soft baked cookies. Wow, they're not getting there. Like really soft. These things are just. Just shove right into them. Hmm. That's pretty good. We will save this for later for our after dinner dessert. The two chiclet bubble gum, well not bubble gum, but gum, possibly xylitol gum. Okay. This has had plenty of time to seep into those juices. So that's with everything. that is pretty good and we'll throw a little bit on the bread sop some of this sauce up okay we'll wash some of this down with our lemon drink you can see that it has constituted really nice it has a nice strong lemony flavor and after we were done with this, if this was our dinner, we'd polish that off with a cup of leaded coffee. Eh. <clears throat> Probably the coffee was the biggest letdown. This was a really good ration. Uh, I've got no complaints over this. If I got this when I was out in the field, <clears throat> I, would be I would be pretty thrilled. And granted, if you ate this you know, once a week for two months, you'd be sick of it. But just for sampling it, it's really good stuff. So again, thank you very much, Ted and Jonathan. I really appreciate it. This was a review of uh, a 2013 IMP, menu number 12, salmon. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.